Okay, back to 100 days. See if I can... Now that I've kind of been shown the ropes and have recognized some of the mistakes that I've made in this game, we'll see if I can hold things together. Hey, Cobra. Uproot removes all the vines from the vineyard necessary if you want to eradicate a serious disease or start the cultivation of a new wine. Okay, yeah, I remember the game mentioning uprooting earlier. Hey, Rock. I haven't run into any diseases yet. I feel like the game's gonna get harder once that happens. Okay, so we're in winter. We have, uh... Our Chardonnay is, uh... being pressed, looks like. And, oh, I didn't mean to remove that. I, yeah, I wanted the, the pruning for that to be there. Grape COVID! <laughs> yeah, didn't I want to set this to, uh... I think I wanted it to be low. <clears throat> Do I have orders? Know if I want to do any of, uh, if I want to sell to any of those. Wait, I have no special orders now. What happened to the six that I had lined up? Did they disappear because I saved my game and stopped? Huh. Went to Burger King because <laughs> they can have it their way. I guess this 2023 Barbera that I made has a little bit more alcohol in it. I hadn't noticed that. Okay, so one thing I definitely want to do. I want to sell this office, because it's just costing me too much. And it's unfortunate that I've already spent as much money as I have on it, but I might as well just uh, staunch the bleeding now. Okay, so we're at 15,000. And, uh... Where's that loan that I have going on? 7 turns left of it and I only have to pay 3500 should I just repay it now I feel like I should now that I have some money again yeah okay we're we're debt free again And, yeah, that's, that's all we'll do for that turn. A Chardonnay can be fermented now. Uh, Bunny is in Chapter 10. Oh, okay, now my six special orders, like, came back, unless those are six new ones. Oh, shit, my screw press broke down. That's why it's giving me this message. Clean and repair them, accessing the different buildings they belong to. Using dirty machinery, you can give vaults to wine. Well, hopefully the wine that I just made with the screw press will be okay. Looks like I can do both of these. Hold on, 
do, do I have data on Chardonnay yet? No, because I haven't I haven't made it before. All that affects is the sweetness. quality. I'll just leave it at short. Okay, so you can't extract tannins from a white wine, but it still lists Tannins in the wine trays. That's that's what throws me off. But yeah, okay, we'll do nothing there. Okay, so for Brico, pruning at Brico. <laughs> I have to I also have to make sure that I have enough room for all this wine. Now that I'm going to be have two fields going. Okay, so I've still got about 4,000 bottles left. Looks like it actually does not cost much to buy more, so let's see. A thousand for five thousand capacity, fifteen hundred for seventy five hundred capacity, twenty five hundred for fifteen thousand capacity. So it seems like the, the pallet rack is the best deal. Do I have enough space for it is the question, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, it only takes up one square. Yeah, now I can carry 20,000 bottles. That greatly increases my capacity. Cheapos. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a really bad job at speaking Spanish. <laughs> what is this? I can't do anything with it. Okay, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't decided what I was going to do with this yet. Um, let's go for high. I've got more storage space now, so... Okay, six special orders... Is this all the same stuff? Dolcetto. I think th these are new. Four hundred twenty-three bottles of a Barbera. I can actually do that. <laughs> no problemo, Tango El Chipos. <laughs> Let's 
60 bottles. Oh, because it yeah, hasn't been aged, so I can't sell to her. Don't haven't made Chardonnay yet. Nebbiole is not even on the table right now. And then a, just a white with good quality. Okay, well, so I can fulfill one of these special orders. That, is, that does get rid of a lot of my stock, but, uh... That's a... It's not the best price, but it's decent. And I need that fame. No one fire does a sundowner impression. Okay, well, we'll be making some good money from this turn. <clears throat> I do about the screw press. I need to repair it. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Until some of this other stuff gets done. I think I can afford to wait. Because it's not like I'm going to be making more Barbera right away. Yeah, let's just leave things how they are right now. <clears throat> Another special order. Oh, this person wants a specific body and tannin content. Still, I still need to wait for that to finish before I can fit that here. Oh, there was so much on his TV Tropes page. But... Some, like, some of the stuff I remember was that it was saying, like... He, he seems good-natured when he's running the Gambit matches, but... Apparently, nobody really likes him within the game. Like, they don't trust him. And I guess he's actually been around for a really long time. Yeah, there, there was a lot of stuff that I, I don't remember about what I read. Okay, so I'm at 16,000 now. It cost me 20,000 to get another board upgrade, which I would really like to have. He's not trustworthy to the Vanguard or really anyone there. I need to upgrade my tool shed before I can get any of these. Aging. And I, up I need to upgrade the warehouse to get any of those. Age, of, of those technologies, I should probably go for aging next, but I think I want the board upgrade first.
And how how much does it cost to upgrade all this stuff? Yeah, that'll also increase the cost per turn if I do that. So I gotta be careful. I might need to wait a while before I do anything like that. Yeah, same thing there. Oh, really? And the, to yeah, the tool shed's even more expensive per turn. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put a hold on doing any of that. Okay, I've... I've yeah, I've looked through my orders already. Yeah, let's go to the next turn. I can bottle the Chardonnay. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward fit, but I can do it. Okay. I guess we need a new design for the Chardonnay. I don't know what exactly this capping module does. It's something I would need to buy. I don't know why you would want one of the more expensive bottles. Like, are people more likely to buy one of the more expensive bottles? And the same with the color. Yeah, let's bottle it all. So it's not it's not gonna be a lot of Chardonnay. I'm not even making a profit this turn because I'm spending money to make the wine. Holy shit. I cannot do all that. Yeah, I've, I've been been doing some of the preventative treatments. Today you'll need your energies. Uh oh. Is is the game warning me about this because I am about to get my my grapes are about to get a disease? Caused by the weather, age, and general well being of the vineyards. <laughs> Are you running low on mana? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vitamin boost, acupuncture, scarves on the trunks, and mittens on the leaves.
playing the treatment card. Don't worry, he's just breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> wow, he's breaking the fourth wall even more than I was expecting him to. <laughs> we are all playing our role in a video game. <laughs> Meditate less, you're glitching out. Eradicate the vines or wait a few years for the vines to be healthy again. Ugh. Waiting a few years seems like that that's a big time sink. to sing a few songs to your vines. <laughs> okay. important to focus on than suckering. But I want to get this tasting out too. for this to get done. Put it here. Then I think I'd have enough room for the weeding for both fields on the next turn. But I could I could start one of them now. Trip to the mailbox. And how many turns does suckering take? Also two. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, interesting indeed. have this, but it hasn't been rated yet. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go with that for now. Oh, what's going on? Oh, the blue marl. Yeah, this is another wine bar that we're getting acquainted with. That's right, it's full of, like, 
young but informed wine enthusiasts who like are college students and don't have the the money to afford that kind of wine so they come here to taste before they become self-conscious and pompous like the old ones This one. Debauchery. I, I remember somebody mentioning that one before. Until it caught fire a few years ago. <laughs> hey, Clamp, yeah. Based on what you were saying in Bunny's stream about work, I, I can understand that. <laughs> It took them an entire night to extinguish the fire, dang. Wow. Strong, smoky aftertaste. You, you wouldn't think, like, surviving a fire would be, like, a good kind of smoky for a wine. But... I guess if it's not that bad, then it could become really expensive just because of the very unique circumstances that it was made under. Okay, what does the journal say? Oh, Velvet Vineyards again. They are really determined to put us on the ground, and I'm pretty sure that one guy who uh, came from the... I don't remember his name or if they've said it yet, but he came from the world of business and uh, got into winemaking but doesn't really know anything about wine. Okay, so now I can put the tasting down, and I can start weeding here. And then I, if the suckering is still available next turn, I'll be able to do one of those. Got some good prices on this turn. How'd the tasting go? 53! Ugh. I, re I knew that was way too little body for a Chardonnay to have. I, I really need to figure out how to increase the body of my wines, because the even the Barbera needs more body. Well, hopefully somebody will buy it. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, I don't really have a clue what I'm supposed to do for this, other than that it needs more body. Okay, let's let's start suckering this, because I want it, hopefully I can get it to a better quality in the next harvest. <laughs> hey, Luna.
can, oh, can I fulfill any of these? Probably not, because the Chardonnay is so low quality. Yeah, this one needs a minimum of 70. This one needs a minimum of 80. Son of a bitch. Okay, let me look at these technologies. This reduces acidity. Potential to improve quality and gives particular flavors. I'm not seeing anything like that specifically says like it'll increase the body of the wine. I don't know if there's something that I'm doing wrong during the growing process. Can't click on any of this stuff. Actually, I don't see any more, like, uh, question marks on the map. I guess we've been everywhere now. any preventative uh... I, mean, I have grapes here right now right right now this one's already protected from downy mildew this cost again? Does it not cost me anything? Oh, but I don't I don't want to put this here. Cause 
I want to do uh, soccering for Rico once it's available. Yeah, let's just hold on for a bit. So if I put this over here, the next turn I'll be able to do a treatment. Okay, now we're starting to get Chardonnay orders. It's such a low quality wine, I guess we have to start somewhere. Because I'm not going to be able to fulfill any of the special orders with that bottle. doesn't tell me anything about, like, uh, when diseases might pop up. Like, I, I just get the feeling that something is gonna happen soon because of, uh, Luca's warning. Well, that's the best price I've gotten on Chardonnay so far. Oh, nice, Cobra. Okay, so I can only I can only do one of these right now, right? I don't have room to put the other one down just yet. Oh no, I can I can do both. Put this one right here. Crop thinning. I do not have room for that at the moment. time. I, I now have enough to increase the board, but I want to give myself a buffer before I do that. Oh, it's Satoshi. Veal rolls. I wonder what exactly that is. Like, my my first thought is, like, a beef wellington, but with veal instead of beef. And there's, a uh, What's the cat's name again? Barbaric, yeah. <laughs> Peace. 
six the methanol scandal. Is that a real thing that happened? I'm not familiar with this. Spike your wine with illegal doses of methanol to compensate for your inability to properly produce it and kill a few people in the process? Well, shit. Good thing I wasn't drinking yet when at that age. There's only two. <laughs> two brothers. That's a relationship status, not an answer. Wow, so the fire broke out because they had a fight? Must have been a really bad fight for them to start a fire. <laughs> Phoenix rising from the ashes of the barrels. So only one brother continued on. Retired from the scene so recently. Setting other wineries on fire. He's work what? Wait, who? Gianni is one of the brothers. Oh no, he was there that night. He might not be one of the brothers. I might be jumping to conclusions there. Huh. Okay, so I can harvest and I can crop thin. I definitely want to crop thin first. Harvesting, unfortunately, just takes up too much space. Yeah, I still don't... If I get the if I get the board increase that gives me another row down there So I think that would actually give me enough space to harvest and crop thin at the same time But I, I don't know how this works. Do, like, do I... Will I not yield the... F will I not get, like, the full benefits of the crop thinning if I harvest while the crop thinning's going on? Like, if I'm thinking about it in real-world terms, I would want to do the crop thinning first. I just don't know if, like, th this game allows you to cheese that. I think I'm not going to take the risk. Let's just start with the crop thinning. This doesn't have any, like, other settings to it. For some reason, I was thinking it did.
Hey, lizard. Sell that. Not really anything else I want to sell this turn. Okay, if I get the board upgrade now... I'll have 2,000 left. I still am... I'm not complete... I, I mean, I can take out a loan if I have to. I'm just, like, really chomping at the bit to get that done. Treatments take two turns. I, I should have started one last turn. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do a, a treatment. When you can take out your competitors. Okay, now we can start harvesting. Seems like a good color for harvesting the Chardonnay. It's currently protected from both downy mildew and powdery mildew. Yeah, I'll sell this too. We are almost out of our Barbera. I'm gonna make 1700. Uh, do I need to repair anything? Oh my, my, yeah, my tank needs to be cleaned. The, the screw press is good again. I need more space to clean it though. I should have, I should have been looking at this stuff earlier. I want to get this eventually, but I want to increase the board size first. Looked at that. Just trying to like think how how much is it going to cost me to make my next. Uh, to go from harvesting this to bottling it. And I've got... not a ton of wine left in, in stock. that board upgrade. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it. There we go. No turning back now. And 
And with that being the case, I can now... I can clean this. <laughs> Johnny, we need to talk right now. <laughs> your, your past as an arsonist. <laughs> Verbal abuse was in trend at the time, I guess. So, is he one of the brothers? Oh, shit. Well, he, he's smiling as he says that, though. Is he joking? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Sunshine. Okay, so we haven't learned anything from him yet. Oh. He wrote a letter? I did not set the winery on fire. He was stealing some of our wine, bottling it in secret, forging the labels, and selling the bottle as pricey wines from famous wineries. He was selling fakes. We discussed, things escalated pretty quickly. Oh, so it was an accident. He dropped a lit cigarette. So it wasn't until he joined us that he came back to the winemaking world. Well, okay then. Okay, so I can't crop thin yet, but once this is done, I'll be able to. few bar Barbera bottles left. And I guess I missed my chance to crop thin. That's something that, like, I really wish I had a better grasp on. Like, how long you have to do certain operations before they are no longer available to you. And I haven't found anything in the game that, like, lists that out for you. Chardonnay prices are a little low. I think I'm going to hold off. got good quality and we got a lot more this time that's good and 
increasingly strange things going on. Huh. That is interesting how, like, the story kind of progresses all around you as you play the game. Those are much better Chardonnay prices. I've got five bottles of Barbera left. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish that off. Hey, Red, welcome. Uh, should I do any more preventative stuff? Or maintenance? It's going pretty good. Just playing a game about making wine. Bottling machines in, still in decent condition. It might not be after we make this next batch of Chardonnay. You have? That is awesome. My favorite RPG. <laughs> you might have seen on Discord that I, I posted a picture of uh, my copy of it and how I bought it for $25 and now it's a lot more expensive than that. Thing in the tool shed. Oh yeah, you're you've made some good progress then if you just got the purple moonstone. Yeah, re really glad to hear you're enjoying it. Okay, I don't think there's really anything else I need to be working on, so I can go ahead and uh do another treatment here. Can I fit two of them? I don't think I can. I think I have to wait for this one to get done. I already made my sales. Now harvest from Brico, but I have to wait for this to finish. No grapes there. Those are all decent prices for that Chardonnay. Ooh, Metroid Prime, yeah, that's an awesome one. Gotcha, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I remember kind of feeling like that when I started my current job, like, oh, I'm not going to have much time left, so I better get as much gaming in as I, as I can. Though I, I still find time, even when I am working. I have a... I, I tend to have a nice block of time at night like this. Am I, oh, am I gonna be able to, with this new Chardonnay, am I gonna be able to, I, I'm hopefully I'll be able to fulfill this one. And maybe even this one if the quality's that good. That one, I don't know when I'm ever going to get to that one. I 
Okay, I think I'll just wait until next turn, and then we can start harvesting. Oh, and I can oh well, never mind, I can't harvest now because it's raining. But I can start pressing my Chardonnay. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're in college and you only got one C, that's not bad at all. I had some... Especially once I got to upper division, I started to have some pretty rough semesters. Okay, let's let's go all in on press intensity, even though it's only, it's only going to increase the body a little bit, but it, we know that it needs more body. I might, I really might need to look into starting to age my wines once I have the money to do that. Oh, your degree doesn't have any math outside of electives, well, that's good. <laughs> as, as a physics major, I needed to take quite a bit of math. But I also liked math. I started out as a math major. Okay, yeah, so let's confirm that. Hopefully it'll stop raining soon. I was the same way, Lizard. I did not study in high school, and I was able to get by most of my classes with A's and B's with no problem. And then college happened, and it got a little harder, and then upper division happened, and it was like, oh shit, I like actually have to really learn this stuff. I also was briefly a computer science major, and I'm, I'm, I was decent enough with the math, but the thing that really got me about computer science was the debugging process. You run a program, it doesn't work, and you're like, well, I have no idea where in these hundreds of lines of code my problem is. Insanity inducing it, that's a good way of putting it. Okay, good, it's not raining anymore, and we got more story. Just saying hi to Anna. Season 6 of Lange and Love, Romance in a Glass. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's true, you do have to kind of hate yourself. So Gianni's brother spread the, the the information that Gianni started the fire. Wow. Okay, I thought I thought the name Filippo looked familiar, so that's our rival. The leader of the consortium who's like, who is this up-and-coming wine star, we need to crush her. 
and has probably been paying off Velvet Vineyards to write those scathing reviews about us. Oh, yeah. I, I think a, a fair number of people have avoided my Yakuza streams because they don't want spoilers. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying that series. It's been a couple days since we last played this, so I'm trying to keep track of all these characters. Oh, okay, she must... yeah, she was the one who would, was talking to uh, Filip, Filippo in, in those cutscenes. Oh, you're playing the original Yakuza, or did play the original Yakuza. Yeah, so I I watched a Let's Play of the original, like, years ago. By the time I got around to playing the games myself, I didn't remember anything about it, so I just went into... I started with Zero, and then played Kiwami and Kiwami 2, and now I'm on 3, or now I just finished 3. Oh yeah, I remember the dub being pretty cheesy. Yeah, the remakes do not have English dubs. They are Japanese only. Oh, ha have you seen her? <laughs> Every Thursday at 5. Hey, RPG, yeah, that's right. Like a Dragon does have an English dub. I feel like when I get to that game, I will play it in Japanese, though. Just because I'm so used to playing the Yakuza series in Japanese by this point. Java was the... the language that I was initially learning when I was a computer science major and then when I went to grad school for astronomy they made me teach myself Fortran that was fun <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I started out by taking astronomy as electives, and then I I majored in physics, got my bachelor's in physics, and then I went from my... started to go for my master's in astronomy, but it did not pan out. I'm going through the game really slowly right now, but I don't mind. I'm, we were having an interesting discussion here. Okay, so we can start harvesting here. Yeah, I really don't have enough room to do anything else right now. I better check the, uh, the status of my equipment after this is done. Yeah, since, since ever, nothing is happening in real time, so I, I can just kind of take my time with it. I don't have to pay that much attention. Although there is a lot going on in this game, and like it's it's pretty much the entire first stream of this game was me learning how to play it. And I feel like I still have some things to learn, but I'm I'm in better shape than I was. Alice? I don't think I'm familiar with Alice. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, I don't think I want to do anything else. Just let these processes run run their course. I can start fermenting the Chardonnay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't either, considering I hadn't even heard of it. <laughs> okay, orders. I got 51 bottles of Chardonnay left, and then my income's gonna stop until I can get this next batch of Chardonnay going. If I put this down... Okay, no, I, I can put it down like this, and then... Assuming... I still have time, I can start pruning after that harvesting is done. Oh, you're, the teacher didn't even read your code. Yeah, so all the all the fermentation does is affect the sweetness level. much data on Chardonnay yet. I mean, the, the main thing, the main criticism of my previous Chardonnay was that it didn't have enough body, so I don't, I don't really know what to do with the sweetness, if anything. I mean, Chardonnay's not really supposed to be sweet. It is a dry wine. And all, all I know right now is that Sweetness of two is not the optimal value, it's something other than two. But it's like, do I really want to wait four turns on this to find out if it should be that? I think I'm just going to do short and see what comes of that. Even though that alcohol volume is stupidly low for a Chardonnay. Okay, I already looked at my orders. That's all for now. And I am running out of bottles. <laughs> well, 
I mean, I I know what <laughs> I know what I expect the sweetness of a le sweetness level of a wine to be based on taste. I don't know what this game expects it to be based on a number. <laughs> Forty two. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Good quality Barbera. Nice. <laughs> I never bought any alcohol or tried to buy any alcohol when I was under 21. <laughs> that Yeah, that would have ended up badly, but I did drink from time to time, especially in Mexico when they, where they do not care how old you are. <laughs> Ooh, so, uh, yeah, I can't... I can't vinify the grapes yet. Shit, do I have to sell the grapes? I can't hold on to them. <laughs> I guess the game did warn me about this. I need to invest in another another tank. So how much am I gonna make from selling the grapes? Oh, okay. They're right here. Five thousand. Yeah, that's not nearly as much as I would get from selling the wine. Fuck. I messed that up. I don't think I've made enough wine to go over that capacity yet. Do I even have... Okay, the, yeah, the tank only takes up one square, so I have room for another one.
the concrete tank, I would have to upgrade the, the winery itself. And I'm not ready to do that. Okay, I got another tank. Should have bought that ahead of time. Still bottle the Chardonnay, but yeah, let's keep that design. That's a significant operating cost. You don't have enough money for additional bottles. first. That's not much. Yeah, this is getting to the point where I might need to take out another loan. So how... How much do I have? alone now just to ensure that I can turn all these grapes into wine I mean you don't have to make the max amount of bottles but I want to have a as many possible to be able to sell later once it's been tasted and reviewed I guess I should take out a loan now. Wow, I could go up to 73,500. <laughs> okay. Is that how much I was short by? I was trying to figure that out. That's counting this plus 182, right? Isn't it already like... Oh, the remaining wine can be bottled later. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Man, maybe I don't maybe I don't need to take out a loan. If I can just bottle some of it now, and then some of it later, once I've gotten more money. So let's, uh... Let's give myself something of a buffer here. I mean, that's, that's a lot of bottles. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. Good thing I increased my storage capacity earlier. 
I hope this ends up being a good quality wine. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And now I've got room for pruning both fields. Yeah, I better do that now. Okay, this is my Chardonnay. Maybe I'll try to make this one... I, I either want very low or low, I think. Because I want the, the quality to at least be neutral, if not plus. I think I'm gonna do very low this time. And now that I'm making or I'm making two wines at once, I don't necessarily want to go for a high quantity of wines. Too low on the Barbera. Okay, I already did my orders. Uh, what else was I? Oh, yeah, the, the, there's still the. Wait, where's the Barbera grapes that I have? It's only showing me the Chardonnay here. So I don't want to sell the Chardonnay grapes. Oh, yeah, the, the Chardonnay is not going to be bottled until that's done. I'm just figuring, trying to figure out what, what's going on with my Barbera grapes. This is, they're not showing up here. I mean, it's set, it says right here, new grape in the cellar, Barbera 2025. But then I click on it, and all I see is Chardonnay here. They may have been auto-sold. I thought it would have gotten more money from selling them if they did get auto-sold. I don't know, maybe I don't get paid for it right away? I guess I'll just advance to the next turn and see what happens. Nothing happened there. And, okay, I've 
got three bottles of Chardonnay left. An illusion grave? <laughs> So once that's bottled, we'll be do able to do the tasting. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to start selling this before I run out of money and so I don't have to take out a loan. Oh, now we got more story. Meeting this Kiara character. <laughs> Your spy game is strong. I mean, she is from London, after all. <laughs> is that too much of a stereotype? <laughs> she talks too much. <laughs> Consider casting another person for the role of secret agent next time. <laughs> Crawling on the floor. She didn't know the truth. <laughs> Spoilers ahead. <laughs> Gianni is not the twisted fire starter you've always assumed he was, and Filippo should be thrown in jail for fraud. <laughs> Spidey sense. <laughs> I can't imagine who else would have been responsible for those reviews. He never explicitly said so, but he implied that much. I guess you could say it's like a, a Yelp review. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go back on the podcast. Is it really gonna be that simple to fix this? Okay, yeah, so I can do this tasting now, and I've still got the rest of the Chardonnay that I can bottle. Yeah, now it says new, new wine in the cellar, yeah, because I have bottled some of it. Grapes are still protected from the diseases. Is there anything else I want to work on while there's not while there's there's space to do so? I think I think everything's in decent enough condition right now. Wine trend. 
What is this? Chardonnay wines can be sold at a higher price. For 10 turns. Okay. I wasn't aware this was a thing. But that's good to know since I just made Chardonnay. Seventy nine, okay. That's definitely better than our last Chardonnay was. I'll take it. Okay, so three is the ideal sweetness level. Yeah. We're still way off on the body. I haven't managed to nail the acidity yet. Yeah, there's my, my one bottle of 2024 remaining. So yeah, this one's good to go. Hopefully we'll start getting orders for that soon. Oh, can I do any special orders right now? Is it not ready for sale yet? Do I have to wait till next turn? You know what? I can do this one. Acidity minimum. That passes. Oh, and, and yeah, this one, damn, my, my Chardonnay quality is one short to be able to fulfill this special order. I need an 80, and I got 79. Okay, so we'll definitely do this one. Need, I'd need to be able to start aging wines to be able to fulfill that one. And this one, I just need a better Chardonnay, just by one point. This one, like... I would need to... massively increase the body... And I still haven't figured out how to do that. Okay, so I can start weeding and suckering. Can I do all of that now? Is there a way? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I got that, uh, that board upgrade. I can actually fit all that stuff. And yeah, that, that can wait. And let's see, I already read that. Yeah, my orders are done. Okay, moving on. Alright, yeah, that's definitely a better price that I'm fetching for this Chardonnay. Not as good as I was getting for the Barbera, though. That, that was a really good Barbera that I had. I wonder if the 
issue is that I only had room for one grape in the cellar, and that's why the Barbera grapes just disappeared. The tool shed doesn't have anything in it. And it's not in storage. still. Yeah, I took them instantly. Okay, this stuff will all get done next turn. Oh, and now it's raining. I could still bottle, though. Uh, check out my orders here. I've got so many of these. I can probably afford to sell some of it for a lower price. Yeah, it looks like I can bottle the rest of it if I want to. I'll get I'll get eleven twelve. Yeah, I'm definitely not rich. I started the game with thirty five thousand euros, and I've never gotten back up to that since. But I'm hoping that as I make more and more wine, I'll eventually be able to m work my way back up to that. I definitely don't have the money to get one now, but it's something to think about for the future. So we're in, uh, we're in spring right now. Yeah, they, they, off, they offer to buy it f f from you at different prices, so like if the price is too low, you might just say, nah, I'm not selling it to you. New episode tomorrow, then season three will end with a two-part episode the week after. Gotcha. Oh, it broke. Fuck. How much is that gonna cost me? Three thousand. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll probably be able to do that soon. Let's 
Let's say hi to Anna again. <laughs> the entire town knows about it. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> Oh, Kiara took over as leader. <laughs> you crawled all the way down here? Didn't that hurt your hands? Sophie and Elena won an award for Holistic Menu. Yeah, this all sounds very good, which, like, makes me think that... Either A, we're near the end of the story, or B, things are going to take a turn for the worse. <laughs> or both. <laughs> yeah, the fact that he escaped does not give me a warm and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> we'll bring the wine. Oh, the last letter from the old man. I didn't I didn't know how many of, of the letters there were. Achievement unlocked. A long journey. Hundred days is the lifespan of a vine. Okay, that's where the name of the game comes from. Okay, I, I guess that is the end of the story. It seems like all you really have to do to complete the story is just survive. You, you, don't go bankrupt. Because <laughs> the story, like, it, it continued no matter how well I was doing. Yes, bankrupt, fuck neons. Game development is a hard job often underestimated. Oh, in loving memory of Beppe Panaro. So Be Beppe was the name of the old man. Okay, yeah, so I guess the game does continue from this point. Oh, and then we got a an article here. King of the Valley has lost his crown, lands, and vineyards. Gianni the arsonist to Filippo the fraud. Yeah, um, the, it's kind of weird, though, because there already is an endless mode in the game, but it seems like the story mode also becomes endless once the story finishes. That's kind of the impression that I'm getting from this. Oh, game FAQs lists the achievements.
Yeah, I guess I should I should be cleaning my equipment more regularly so that it doesn't break like what just happened. That's bottled. The perfect way to make wine is by aging the tears of your enemies. <laughs> hey, Maho Sushi. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I wanted to at least complete the story on stream. I don't know if like because I feel like getting all the achievements is gonna take a long time, just like based on how few of the upgrades I've bought so far. Like, there's clearly a lot more of the gameplay to experience. But I don't know if I want to stream all that. Because I just, I just feel like it'll take forever, and there are other games I want to get to. Yeah, so this is 100 Days Winemaking Simulator. It's not at all the kind of game that I usually play. I, I don't... I'm not real big on simulation games, but I do love wine, so this game kind of caught my eye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep playing, like, for a little while tonight, and we'll see if anything else happens with the story, even though it seems like it's done, but... Yeah, because it's not a game, like, it's a, it's a game you could easily just pick up and play for a little bit here and there off stream. Like, may maybe, maybe what I could do is, if I make a lot of progress off stream, I could just, I could do another stream of it just to show you guys what I've done. Yeah, believe it or not, I don't just fade into the digital realm. <laughs> no, those are not as good of prices as I was getting. I'll sell to these top two, though. <laughs> Broccoli patches. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, Rock. I mean, th this is going to need to be repaired relatively soon. And how many... it takes two turns to do that. Now we can do crop thinning for Principe. Oh, now we're getting much better prices. Okay, yeah, I can do both of these. Yeah, my negative Yelp reviews were removed. I guess I should probably... How much does this cost? Oh, only 200. And that's also two turns. Well, it, it's a process in, in that.
that, that you have to go through in order to, one of the stages of, of the winemaking journey, if you will. It's not actually growing a new crop. Is there anything else that needs to be... Oh my god, my bodily machine is like on life support right now. Wait, can I not... Can I not repair it? Oh, yeah, that was, like, I was thinking something else broke, but yeah, the bottling machine was what broke, so yeah, that's what I'm working on. Okay, never mind, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Okay, I might as well be doing that to get that cleaned. So we can harvest, but I don't have room to do it this turn. Welcome back, Rock. And we can crop thin for Brico. Now if I, I keep going to the warehouse when I'm meaning to go to the winery. Yeah, now my bottling machine's in good condition again. I've got two tanks, just in case I end up making like two wines at the same time so I don't have to get rid of my grapes. The screw press, I guess, could use cleaning, but... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have room for that. Because yeah, I want to get the crop thinning done. Oh, and I... I could do some more treatments, but I don't really have room for that right now. this not like it's supposed to be sorted by uh... price per unit and like this is above that for some reason yeah I'm slowly making some money back and I've got I still got a lot of bottles left, so like that'll be a a steady source of income for a while. You can harvest Brico now. Uh, this ta this takes two turns. Um, hold on. Right, there's still, there's still 
some more steps to go before it could before the pressing is necessary. So I think I think I have time to clean the screw press right now. Oh, there's a journal update. Oh, the cleaning thing. Yeah, I already saw that. Great quality. That is my first great quality wine, or grapes, rather. I've only ever, ever had good or average before this. harvest started I'll start I'll start the crushing next turn So okay so hold on I've got grapes in the cellar here but what if I don't crush these before this harvest finishes? Am I gonna lose those, those second grapes? I'm still not real clear on that. Those are not great prices for the Chardonnay. I don't know why it's so. Oh, may, I guess because the that uh, the Chardonnay trend is probably over now. goes Dropping a few frames here. That's a trailer. have the technology for that yet. Wow, okay, I have to... Yeah, I would have to upgrade the tool shed to level 3 first. Like, at, at some point, if I keep at this long enough, you'd think I'd get to a point where I can finally start affording some of this stuff. 
Like, I almost went bankrupt earlier because I bought some... I bought an office that ended up costing me more than it benefit me. And then once I realized that I really shouldn't have bought it as early as I did, I sold it back for not as much money, but it would... It staunched the bleeding, at least. Okay, so, I've, yeah, I've looked at my orders already. Oh, my Chardonnay got infected by powdery mildew. Treating it, that, that's to prevent it, not from curing it when it already has the mildew. You got the great COVID. <laughs> Okay, so there's no grapes on these vines right now. So the grapes that I already harvested should be good, right? And I don't have room to do the treatment right now anyway. I have to wait for this stuff to finish. Okay, do I, th do I want to start... I guess I probably want to start pressing this first. Hold on. What does, this, what does the journal tell me about Chardonnay? I still... I don't understand why tannins are even a factor here. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I feel like I'm still a long ways off from being able to get a better press. Good quality Barbera. And I've got a tank to spare. Which one was it? It was powdery mildew? Yeah. I can't, I can't cure powdery mildew. Yeah, 
Yeah, if, if it's like he was saying, if if it's like Luca was saying to me earlier, like at this point, there, you either have to uproot the the vines, or just wait a few years for it to go away. And I don't know. Do I even have the means to uproot the vines right now? I forget what you need to be able to do that. The crawler tractor. And I'm, I'm sure I'm nowhere... Aside from how expensive it is to get in the first place, like, I'm sure I'm nowhere near... Unlocking the technology. Well, I'm, I guess I'm not. I would have to upgrade the tool shed first. But yeah, I just don't have that kind of money. So what do I do? Do I just, like, suffer the with the fact that I'm gonna have shitty wines from this field for the next couple years? I'll treat the other disease, I guess, because I can. Mildew is a jerk. Telling me there's no tanks available. My, my equipment's all in good condition now. can't do two fermentations at once, right? Sweetness. Apparently three is ideal. can't even make it three. It's already at two, even with the short duration. For Barbara... Two... Let's 
let's put that on there. the tannin supposed to be at? Also at two, okay. And I can't do pruning because it's snowing. Still got a lot of Chardonnay left. kind of suck that sometimes you just don't get the chance to prune the vines because you do it in winter and you can't do it when it's snowing. Yeah, like, if I have to, I can, I can live off of uh, the Barbera alone. And yeah, just be because I have so much stock left over, I'm still going to be making money for a while. Oh, Wine Train Barbera. But I don't have any to sell at the moment. I'll be able to bottle it soon. How long does this take? Turns variable. Uh, well, in real life, um, only certain wine varietals are good for aging, and even among those, like, only certain varietals should be aged for a long period of time. Like, it, it's often thought that, like, the older the wine, the better, but that's not always true. I need to get another bottling machine. Oh god, that's way too expensive. I didn't realize how much the bottling machine costs. Okay, well I guess we're just, they're just gonna have to take turns. I'd, I'll hold off on bottling the Chardonnay because I want to bottle the Barbera as soon as it's ready. So I can, I can do pruning now. If I prune them both, I'm not really going to have room for this. But... I think I can live with that. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any way to put those down. Oh, well, yeah, Principe probably... I don't know how much this will even be worth, even if I do prune it. Brico is still fine. Oh, you're... Oh, okay, now I see what you're saying, like... Well, the, the treatment... I don't think it affects the pruning. I think it's just like once once this once the treatment gets done, then that disease will be prevented for however many turns it lasts. If that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I, I can't, because these, these, uh, the mildew treatments, they're to prevent it from happening. If you already have it, then you can't fix it. You either have to uproot the vines or, uh, just wait for it to go away on its own. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting distracted here, or have the tech to cure it. Yeah, because the, the only things that we can actually cure if they occur, well, it's not letting me see them right now. These things, yeah, mites, M Mpoaska vitis, and Botrytis cinerea. I don't know how to say Latin words. <laughs> What, what was my plan here? I, I really lost track of what I wanted to do. Yeah, I was gonna wait for the Barbera to... ...finish there so that I could bottle it before the Chardonnay. What's wrong with a few bugs in your wine? Yeah, I feel like I should take as good of care as I can of Brico while it's, you know, not infected with mildew. this one higher quantity. I guess it's not, it's currently not being protected from either one, yeah, so I need to do both. room to do the pruning here, but it's like... Is it worth it? It doesn't cost me anything, it just takes time to do it. No, we, we don't get cicadas here.
Yeah, I'm just, I guess I'll just put this down here. I'll try to do a very low yield. 75% health. of the, the press Tetris piece was. But all that stuff will get done next turn and I'll have room again. And hold on, so this this takes two turns to press. And this how many turns would this take to bottle? Okay, yeah, so then that would get done, and then I'd be able to bottle the Barbera. But man, that's taking so long for me to get the Barbera bottled, I'm like missing out on the trend here. And that caught, I mean, that costs a good amount of what I have left, but not everything. Yeah, I mean that's that's not uncommon in in wine. Like a lot of the wines that I'm drinking these days are like 2018 or 2019. Also, I'm trying to keep like an eye on if there's a a higher volume order that doesn't have a, like a totally shitty price because I do need to make money a little bit more quickly here. Yeah, the, the, the year that you see on the bottle is the year that the grapes were harvested. already protected against downy mildew. Do 
I need to fix anything? Uh, I mean, the screw press is being used, so I can't work on that. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> and now it's, uh, it's spring, so we can do weeding and suckering. I really want to see how good this Chardonnay turns out with the, the great quality grapes that we had from that. So I'll probably get to that point and then end the stream. Actually, well, I well, I'll probably sell my first bottles of it just to see what it's go what the the price is going for. Um, I'll have more room next turn. I can only do one of these things right now. Let's do this. Oh, and I have a new special order. Well, that's easy enough for me to fulfill. Only 79 still. Same score as last time. I guess because our, our winemaking ability still is kind of weak because we don't have any better equipment. It's definitely not the plateau for Barbera. My best Barbera that I ever made was 92. But yeah, I don't know, maybe Chardonnay's just harder to grow, or well, not harder to grow, but uh, harder to make the wine. Still got a, I got a lot of bottles of this. bottle this Barbera. I can do I can do both weedings. Yeah, I should probably do that. I just hate I hate being in debt. <laughs> I I was the the one time I had to take out a loan, I mean I was able to pay it back. But that was like to that was literally to avoid bankruptcy. The the one time that I did that. College does that to you. <laughs> I need to start selling this stuff at a faster rate. Because I'm gonna... Now I've got more. <laughs> and I can only do five sales at a time, but I think there might be an upgrade that I can get that allows me to sell more at a time.
<laughs> you might as well just buy box wine. Maybe there isn't a way to sell more than five at a time. I thought there was. Yeah, th this is why I don't play simulation games like this very often, because I, I usually am terrible at them. Like, I'm, I'm hanging on in this game, but stuff like SimCity, I never had any concept of how to make money in that game. Yeah, now I'm I'm selling the 2026. That's done. <laughs> Kill your rival wine company. I'm just, I've never been a risk taker. Like, I... I... I leased my, my car, and uh, in November, the lease will be up, and I intend to fully pay it off. Like, I... I did not want to have to be making payments on this thing for a long period of time. You take risks in games, yeah, I, my, my risk aversion in real life carries over to my gameplay. <laughs> so, okay, so our Barbera here is 85, which is not my best Barbera, but it's still pretty good. I made uh, 2,000 bottles of that. Yeah, that is that is my big problem. I I'm not able to increase the body of my wines. Also, it yeah, it does seem like at this point there is no more story to experience. So we have completely finished it. So can my Barbera f do one of these special orders? No. Cause that, yeah, cause that one needs to be aged, and I don't have the ability to age yet. Um, it was... It was honestly a little bit more pricey than I thought it was going to be. It was like, what was it, like $22, $23? 
but clearly you can get a lot of mileage out of this. I, just, I, I was surprised it was that expensive, just because I didn't think there would be that many people who... Like, we're chomping at the bit to play a winemaking simulator. I'm just, a, like, a rare case, because I, I am so interested in wine. Yeah, so I think, I think I'm gonna call it here. I'll save my game. But yeah, I'm I'm glad that I spent a couple of streams on this game. I don't I don't think I'm gonna stream it anymore unless, like I said, I I play some more of this game off stream and I start making like a lot of progress on it. Which may take me a while, just judging from how things are going right now. But yeah, whenever my next stream will be, it will be a different game. I have a couple of things in mind, haven't made a decision about it yet, but yeah, that that's how it'll go. <laughs> so yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later, have a good night.